All right. Here we go. Here's the Blue Marlin. Love this, love this game. Although when I had, when I was a kid, I never owned it. Music is great though. 91 is such a late game. But I, I was one of those kids who didn't get a Super NES. I went from uh, NES, actually NES, to a hand-me-down Genesis in the mid 90s, and then very shortly after that, a PlayStation. Hickory, it is not about being a fish, it is about, uh, it is about catching fish. Let's go for that. Yes, it is about, it's about catching fish. You're trying to win, uh, fishing tournaments in, um, first in Florida, and then you have three days in Hawaii. Um... Uh, this, this is kind of the easiest, easiest level of this first one. So, you are, um... I'm just gonna get my settings here. I'm setting it to the, the strongest, um, line strength, uh, the shortest trolling line length, 100 feet. Um, I like the large skirt for a lure, um, and I like it floating. Um, okay, so we're set there. There's a few other things you can look at here, like the weather and stuff, um, is factored into this. Um, so, I'm just, I'm pulling that lure behind me, and I'm trying to, uh, pull up a fish. Now, you're trying to catch billfish. Oh, yeah, you, oh, that's right, you live in Hawaii. Forgot about that, yeah. So, the first day is in Florida here, but then the next three tournament days are all in, in Hawaii. I think you get, I think, um... God, I'm trying to remember all the different, um, cities you go to. I mean, Honolulu's in there, Hilo's in there, um... There's a few other, like, a couple of volcanoes. A lot of the names I, I have a hard time... Some of them I even have a hard time pronouncing. Kilauea, Hilo... Hmm. I don't want to do it, because it would... It probably would be, uh... Probably offensive if I tried. The thing about this game, this game is super laggy. This game is really, really laggy, and you'll notice it's it's really not, um... My stream might be lagging my emulator just a little bit, but even on NES, this game is so, so, so laggy. Um, these schools of fish, these... Uh, if you catch one of these fish, they don't, um... They're not good for your score. They, they're not, uh, worth anything in the way in, but you can draw up billfish behind them. You can also draw up billfish, um, under flocks of seagulls. So drives out, you live near Hilo. Okay, so you're on the, you're on the big island then. That's one of the little bit of, uh, of Hawaiian geography I know. Um, kind of having a hard time getting, if I get in another one of the schools of, um, of worthless fish, I'll just, I'll hook one so you can see the, uh, the fish biting sequence. But you can still catch those fish, but they're just, they're not worth any, um, anything for the tournament. All right. Oh, there's a, there's a billfish. Excellent. Okay, so, first thing I did was I set the drag down all the way so that, um, the fish can't pull line out as quickly. So you can see how much line length is out there. That vitality meter is my vitality as the, uh, fisherman. So as that goes down, I get more and more tired. The fish's vitality is down in that little fish emblem in the corner there. He's got one thing of sweat. Okay, all right, this is a little, like, almost like a QTE event in this game. Uh, I have to make a choice here, and it's totally random uh, about this. Totally random. He's trying to cut the line on the propeller, even though he's 20 feet out. I can pull the rod, wind the reel, or do nothing. If I choose the wrong one, I'll probably lose the fish. If I choose the right one, I don't really get a bonus on this one, but I don't lose the fish, so I'm going to just try to pull up the rod. Alright, so, I don't think I get any consequences here. I can just pull them the rest of the way in. But if you make the, the wrong choice there, um... Here we go. 200-pound blue marlin. About. You do an official weigh-in at the end of the day. Um, but if you make the wrong choice in those QTE events, you just kind of, it, it's like, oh, your line's severely damaged, and then when you come back out in the fish fighting sequence, it's like, oh, you lost the fish, your line broke. Sorry. Sorry. 
Oops. Yeah, you can't motor through the middle of a school, or they will scatter. Yeah. 200 is not so big in this one. You need to win day one. You're looking for around 400 uh, to win day one. Um, and you can... This game has kind of a weird level-up system. Um, your character has some uh, stats that they can level up. Um, it's and and they're they're actually they're not translated very well. One's called like power, and one's called strength, or something like that. They're they're both they both mean about the same thing. See, here's another one of these. Whenever they get in close, you want to try to rush them in. But my character doesn't have enough um, enough of the speed stats. I'll, let's try winding reel this time. All right. So we're good. So I can get him the rest of the way in. But one of them is like it's called skill or something, and the the skill stat. This one's a sailfish, also about 200. Um, but the skill stat helps you with those choices. Like, I guess it gives you more, um, more of a chance to guess the right answer on those, um, on those choices. And I've played around with, with, um, save states and, um, save loading on this one, and the game decides whether something is the right choice when you make the decision. It's not decided beforehand, because you can save before you make the choice, and sometimes it'll be right, sometimes it'll be wrong. Sometimes none of them may be right or wrong. Alright, now this one I have to worry about um, the hook coming out of his mouth. See the fish emblem down there? There we go, and I'm getting... That's the line is weak sound. So you can see the hook is wobbling around in the fish's mouth down there in the bottom right corner. That means it's very close to coming out. Um, and the clink, clink, clink sound is... The, that means there's some strain on your line. So I don't want to have him hanging around under 20 feet from the boat. Oh, okay. So even at 24, he still did this one. Uh, you don't want him hanging around in that distance. All right. So I have, we haven't gotten uh, unlucky with those yet. So I'm going to try to rush him in now. And hopefully, it's, it's, I don't. I don't think it's going to be any bigger. Yeah, 200 again. Here we go. So body strength is one of the stats. Um. So one of them increases kind of your vitality, so you can give more pull on the fish. And the other one, um, I think it helps you pull the fish in faster. And then there's that skill one. But you only get experience points in the skill level by making correct choices. So only by guessing correctly on the totally random um, events can you get better at guessing correctly on the totally random events, if that makes sense. This fish is a lot bigger. I can tell already because I'm trying to reel and the line is going out, so I, I don't think I'm going to be able to pull this fish in. My character is not even able to pull to um, sit back and you hear the line um, crink crinkly sound is um, going right away. I'm going to reverse the boat. What this does is it, it, helps, it helps you reel in a little bit. Um, but even now, even while I'm trying to reel, um, this fish is pulling line out. So the best I can do with this fish is pull it to a stalemate. Yeah, this this one, I, I don't think I'm going to get this fish in. Yes. So had my, had my levels been up a little bit, um, I may be able to get this one in, but I don't think I'm going to get this one in. Yeah, it wasn't going to work to tire him out, because I, I didn't even have the, um, the endurance, uh, drysalizer to, to, um, to stop him, to, uh, to, to pull back and, and pump the, and pump the, uh, rod. It's generally something you can do, oops, I might hook one of these guys. You can, on bigger fish like that, you can kind of pump the rod a little bit to, uh, to tire them out, but that, um, will start pulling the hook out of their mouth if you start doing that, um. And the hook was already pretty close to being his, so it would have been probably a really long fight uh, that I still wouldn't have won. Um, and time is a factor in this game, kind of, because technically there's a, um, a, a time of day timer going on. You can see in the information thing, I think it tells you what time it is. Um, yeah, so it's, it's 7 and 7.30 in the morning now. Um, you have, I think, until 4 p.m. Um, and then if it gets to 4 p.m., then, uh, then you can go in, but... Sometimes a fish fight um, on one of those big fish can take a couple hours of game time. So, I mean, it won't take that long in real time, but it can sometimes take a couple hours of game time. So if you 
are getting tight on time, those those big ones you don't want to spend too much time trying to get these. Also, some schools will bounce off of the sides of the um, of the map, and some of them will disperse when they get to the end of the map. Um, when I was a kid, I did kind of an unscientific test to see what species of um, of non billfish would do the bouncing, and I. I think my data, when I was a kid, showed me that these tended to be barracuda or sharks. I'm going to change my bait um, for this one. Let's go back to the feather um, for this one. Sometimes changing baits behind a school that hasn't produced anything will help. Will help draw up a fish. These tended to be barracuda and sharks. All right, here we go. So, ah, here's another big one that I can't, I can't even, um, can't even pull back. I can barely pull back. See how slowly he's pulling back. So I'm gonna try to pump it though, um, to see if I can get a sweat bead on this guy. But without the, without the strength, I can't. Uh, I'm, I'm getting tired just, just as quickly. You see, my vitality meter is going down. So by pumping the rod, you can tire the fish out, but um, you can also tire yourself out in this one. Music is great in this game. The music is great. It's just too bad that it's so often covered up by the clinking of the line, um, which, um, you know, on the NES, sound effects will, will sometimes take out a sound channel. Um, man, I can't believe I'm not gonna... I'm not doing well on this first day. Yeah, this one, I, I'm also, uh, I can, I'll try to reverse the boat, but I, I really also don't think I'm going to get this one in. So I'm, I'm uh, only going to be able to stream till about the top of the hour here. That's kind of the end, the end of my, uh, my budgeted stream time for the day. So I'm, uh, I'll just cut the line. I might, I'll pop over to the other maps on this first day so that uh, you can check those out. This is Palm Beach in Florida. I think the other choice here, there's Miami and uh, also Cape Canaveral, which is kind of a, a kind of a random one. I didn't know that Cape Canaveral was famous for its uh, for its um, deep sea fishing, or Palm Beach, I guess, fishing for marlins within sight of the beach like this. All right, this has got my my favorite level music. Um, Every, in every day, you always have three locations you pick from, and the location to the left is always the one that has this music, and it's great music. All right, there's one, but I need to get in there, and I can't throw the rock. All right, it's a bouncing school, so that fish will stay up with them, but I've got to get the bait in front of that fish without dispersing the school. There we go. Oh, okay. Now, sometimes when you see a billfish pop up behind a school, um, it will look and act like a billfish behind a school, but it will actually be a tuna. Um, and you can tell that because the, the fight music is different, and the, uh, the sprite is also different. You notice there's no, um, bill, or not, not a bill, there's no, um, dorsal sail sticking out of the water. So that's how I know this is a tuna. But I think tuna are, will still give you experience if you catch them, so I'll go ahead and reel this one in. They're not worth anything for points, or for tournament points, but tuna. Now, in the real world, a 400-pound tuna would be worth quite a bit of real money. You could sell that thing for like a thousand bucks, a 400-pound tuna in real life. So that's no, uh, that's no joke there. Fish if you're in Hawaii, you could get take it to the, uh, the Japanese tuna auction. Japan's is right there by Hawaii, right? It's just like the next island over. Right? <laughs> Yeah, so in this Marlin tournament, I, I, I'd say, like, you know, screw the uh, tournament winning money. Like, I just caught a 400-pound tuna. I'll put, sell that on the open market. That's going to get me more than this uh, tournament winning. Because there's, there's an even bigger tuna in this game. Because, um, of course, the sizes of fish in this game are always, you know, wacky. By the time you're getting... By the time you're getting to the end of the game, you're catching like 1,200 and 1,300 pound marlin. Oh, you have fish auctions in uh, in Hawaii there? 
cool. So yeah, so if I was doing this tournament, I'd go down, I'd put it on the open market down there. I wouldn't even have to send it to Hawaii for the fish auction, huh? That's cool. Alright, so this one seems, this one seems manageable. I have to manage the, um, the hook in his mouth, unfortunately. But, um, this one definitely feels like it's bigger than the 200 pounders that I've been messing around with. Um, and I'm not going to reverse the boat because I want to tire him out. I do want to get him tired. So I'm able to at least um, make some progress with this one, except for when he jumps. Uh, when they jump, there's just nothing you do. They just they take like 30-ish feet of line, and there's nothing you can do about it. Sometimes you get a little QTE about their jumping. It'll say they'll do kind of a bigger jump. Like, wow, did you see that jump? And um, you'll have a chance to wind the reel or pull the rod to kind of get a bonus. Here we go. So here's the QTE about him jumping. So um, I can do one of these two. And again, this is totally random. So I made the, the wrong choice that I was totally uninformed about, so I just, I lost a big chunk of line. Had I made the right choice, I could have gotten some, some bonus, um, bonus tiredness on the fish. Tiredness, I don't know if that's the right word, but, um, but now I've got, he's got a sweat drop on him, so I'm doing okay now. So I'm gonna try to get him the rest of the way in here in one big pull before he tries to cut my line. Alright, got him. So, he's gonna be bigger than 200, I think. Here we go, 400. Nice. He's gonna be, so he might be my my day winner. He might be my day winner. So I'm actually gonna go see if he'll if he'll be my day winner. That way, at least maybe uh, we can get a glimpse at uh, at ho the first day of Hawaii. Um, oh, there was one thing. Is it in this level or in uh, in Miami? I will have to do that because. As I alluded to before, there's an advertisement for the black bass somewhere in this game, and I can't remember where it is, but it's on a screen. If that might be in the Miami, um, might be in the Miami level. But it says the, the black bass now on sale from Hot B, and it's like a little. I mean, in the in the game, it's an advertisement. It's like it's a little billboard thing that's flashing, um, you know, on a on a little road that you see cars on. These levels are kind of cute because some of them have like railroad tracks or bridges. This one's just got a little dude there dancing. The uh, Palm Beach had guys doing like some kung fu or something. Two guys were sparring. We got cows there. There's a lighthouse in Cape Canaveral, which I don't know if that's a, a legit thing or not. So we'll take a look at Miami. There's little cars driving by. Miami, this one might have the ad, although maybe it's later on. Maybe it's in the Hawaii level. Because this is uh, this is the only land in the Hawaii level, I think, is right there. Um, yeah. All right. I'm gonna go do the weigh-in because I've got to I've got to head out in about five minutes. But we'll do the weigh-in, and if I if I won this day, then we'll take a look at the um, the next the next Hawaii day. This game is relatively short if you get lucky. Um, so we can weigh in all the fish we caught. So this was the uh, the first approximately 200 blue marlin, and so when it says approximately 200, that's between 151 and 250. So this is on the high side of the about 200. This is right about in the middle. Um, and the the graphic changes on the weighing in screen. So the small that's the smallest one. This one's a little bit bigger, um, and it happens at a different time of day than the other ones. And the music is different. Um, and if you get a bigger, bigger fish, that sprite changes, and sometimes their bill is crushing through the uh, the platform there. And then at the biggest ones, you'll see confetti come down on the biggest categories. All right, so I'm all done weighing, so you can go fishing again, um, or you can see if you won. And I did win. That is that is your character's sprite. That is your character's sprite. So if you see another character there, then you know that you lost, and you just you have to play that game again. But um, 
Look at this password. This password stores your name, and it must be like the status of every fish you've caught, because there's really not much that you would uh, need, that you would need to store in there. Look at that password. It's huge. So I remember writing these down when I was a kid. You need notebooks. All right, Hawaii one. So there's three. There's three days of Hawaii. So we've got um, Kawaii hey, Kawaii hey. See, that's why I'm, I have a hard time with these names, and I don't want to be offensive uh, to to Hawaiians. Kawaii hey. Uh, there's Hilo. All right, we'll we'll start in Hilo, but the other one is Kailua. So we have Kailua, Kawaii hey, and Hilo. And I think I Kawaii hey is on the Big Island. Okay. Well, here we are in Hilo, so this should look familiar if you live near Hilo. Oh, here it is. And this is where the black bass ad is, right here at, at, in Hilo. So, uh... Yeah, so I think the game was at least good about putting everybody on, um, on, on the same location, because I think the day you're on Honolulu, um, you're also on other Oahu, um, island sites. And then, um... The last day, I think you're on Kauai. You're uh, you're on the island of Kauai. But uh, so here, if you were in Hilo in 1991, you could have seen these ads for the black bass on sale from Hot B right now in Hilo. Unfortunately, I have never been to, uh, to Hilo. I did visit Honolulu, but uh, I would have probably preferred to go to Kauai or the Big Island because I would like to do more outdoorsy things. Um, Honolulu was, was great, but it's just kind of a resorty city, which is not really my taste in travel. I would, I'd rather do something outdoorsy. Oh, there's one. I'll see if I can get this fish, and then I'll, I'll probably have to, uh, to cut it off. But All right, so sometimes you get these bonuses where it just, like, it'll say, go for it, the fish is, fish is tired. Boom. So... Ooh, I didn't reset my uh, my settings. Shoot, I forgot to. It it goes back to the default 200 feet and also the the 110 pound line instead of the 160. But uh, I got really lucky there. Oh, that's why. It's a little baby one. Nice. Yeah, if it looks under 200, you won't even keep it. So a lot of weird things happen in this game. Sometimes you can get a uh, shark will randomly eat your fish while you're reeling it in, and you'll just you'll just lose it, uh, no matter where it was. Um, sometimes, oh, there's a whale. Yeah, you can pull up a fish behind a whale, which doesn't really make much sense in real life. But you can draw up a a billfish. Oop, I motored over the whale, so I scared him away. You cannot hook the whales, um, unfortunately. But yes, you can uh, you can pull up a fish behind the whale. But, alright, it's getting up to the top of the hour here, so I am going to have to um, to cut the stream here, but I, I, uh, I'll i come back to the Black Bass. Sometime when I have more time, I may do a full game run through of the Black Bass. Um, someday when I have more time. But I also I want to learn that FF5 segmented speed run. Um, and I might possibly do some FF1. I don't know, Dryslizer, if you've been watching uh, Sula has been running, uh, not really speed running, but he's been playing FF1 again. So that's been making me want to, to do that again. I wouldn't do a, I wouldn't try a speed run of it because it's pretty random when I've seen like Diesel do speed runs of it. But um, I had a lot of fun with that game too. So lots of things coming up. But uh, Dryzen, so thank you for your help uh, getting through Zeromas there, and for for the um, uh, the tips sending over your guide. Uh, so if Sula did another FF1 today. I need to watch that on VOD, because I, I watched his one from earlier this week, um, so I'm caught up to him, but if he did FF1, I've got to catch one on VOD. Maybe I'll do that uh, later today while I'm eating lunch or something. Yeah, I'll, I'll do it. Um, I'll do a full game run, because I've, I've been through this game many, many times, uh, but it, it does take several hours if you want to just sit through and play through it in one, but that's, I'm not averse to doing that, but I just don't have time today. But uh, thank you for hanging around, thank you for watching, uh, and I'll see you, if I can catch Sula live sometime, I'll see you in chat, um, or some of the other Final Fantasy action, I'll try to catch you in chat on those two. Was... Hickory, you, you look for a better computer? Well, I just, my settings are set pretty gimpy, so I'm able to do it on my pretty gimpy computer. So, um, never give up hope, as they say. 
You won- you got Scotland, Hickory! You won Scotland! You should be celebrating! Hop in the champagne! <laughs> Maybe Scotland will buy you a new computer, Hickory. Maybe they can help you out with that. <laughs> but I've got to head out there, guys. I will see you both around Twitch. We'll see you in chat, or we'll see you on stream. It was great uh, chatting with you and playing with you guys here today, and we'll talk to you later.